welcome back to my YouTube channel. As always, I really, really appreciate it. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny, and for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here. And I love it because it's super cute, first of all. And it's actually a lot more simple than what it looks. So I feel like it's perfect for summer. It's girly, it's pretty, it's bright, it makes me happy. <laughs> So anyways, I'm super excited to show you guys step by step how I got this makeup look. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Hair first out of the way. I cannot do my makeup with my hair down. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the Mario Badescu Hydro Moisturizer. Absolutely love this stuff. Gonna put it all over my face. And it just, it leaves my face feeling so incredibly moisturized without it leaving it sticky. So that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love it. Next I'm going in with the Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm. I have very dry lips so I try never ever skip this step. It makes a huge difference for me. Before going in with my primer, I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of the Make It Last Milani Setting Spray. This helps my makeup last even longer since I am very oily. For primer, I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime. This has been my go-to lately. I find that it's so good, so affordable. absolutely love it. I put it all over my face because, like I said, I am oily. So priming is super important for me. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. And this I'm just going to put on the sides of my nose. I tend to have a little bit of larger pores in that area. So this really, really helps me minimize that. So you guys can see, I just like to go in like circular motions back and forth and I feel like it makes a huge, huge difference. Mm -hmm. What pores? <laughs> I don't see no pores. <laughs> For today's look, I decided to do the skin before the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with foundation first and this one has become my ultimate favorite. It is the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced and the color that I use is Natural Beige. Now to apply the foundation, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, making sure that it is damp. I always use my beauty sponges damp. It just makes my life so much easier to blend, makes everything very effortless and always using bouncing like tapping motions. I'm going to go all over my face and of course my neck. You can't forget to give the neck some love too. So I picked up a little bit more foundation. I'm going in for a second layer. This is one of the things I love about this foundation. It's so incredibly easy to give yourself buildable coverage and in certain areas you can put a little more foundation. Like for example my forehead doesn't need as much coverage as the rest of my face. So I just put like a light layer on my forehead and then everywhere else I put a little bit more. Next I'm going to go in with my favorite color corrector. This one is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I use the color medium to deep and I absolutely love using color correctors because it allows me to use my concealers just to simply highlight my face and not so much have to conceal my dark circles. This corrector is so easy to blend. One of the reasons why I love it, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so now that we've gotten rid of our dark circles, I'm gonna go in with the Born This Way Concealer for the purpose of highlighting, not so much concealing my dark circles. I absolutely love this concealer, just like the foundation. It's so easy to blend. It's very buildable, although I would say it's a little bit more on the full coverage side. So if you like something that is a little bit more sheer, something that's a little bit more natural, this concealer may be a little bit too much. <laughs> But the good thing is that you could just simply use a tiny bit and something like this would last you forever. So using my Real Technique sponge on the other side of it, the one that I have not used, I'm going to blend everything out. Except for my eye area because I am going to be blending that out with my finger. I just find that it's easier for me. I can get a little bit more precise and I could just be a little bit more careful when I use my finger to blend out the concealer on my eyes. The purpose of the concealer on the eyes is to be used as a primer, which is one of the reasons why I wanna make sure it's very, very blended out. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a little cream contouring. Now, I did this for the sake of the video because to be honest with you, you don't need to cream contour. It's not necessary. The look would just be just as beautiful. I personally love to cream contour. I feel like the finish is very natural. The process may not be very natural looking, <laughs> but the end result is definitely very, very natural. It's easier for me to blend out more so than even powder, which is one of the reasons why I like to do it. At this point, if you don't like to cream contour, you can simply just powder everything and go in with a powdered bronzer. It's completely up to you. 
Alrighty, so once I've added all my little lines everywhere, it's time to blend. And for today, I decided to blend first with this amazing e.l.f. brush. absolutely love it. It's so good for contouring. It just fits all the areas so perfectly. And the reason why I decided to do uh, this first before my Beauty Blender is because sometimes if I go in with my Beauty Blender right after I've applied everything, I feel like the Beauty Blender picks up a little bit too much of the product. And so I'm left with a look that's almost as weird as it sounds, almost a little bit too natural <laughs> and so then I feel like I have to compensate with too much powder at the end so I'm just giving myself like little tapping motions and blending into my hairline to make everything look as natural as possible now before contouring my nose I'm going to wipe off some of the product that stayed on the brush so that my contour on my nose can be a little bit more precise I don't want to go in with the brush already having too much product because that's just going to make it really difficult to blend and it's almost like my nose is going to end up with too much product so now that everything is in position, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and this is just going to help me melt it into the skin, make it look very, very skin-like and much more natural. The Beauty Blender always picks up a little bit of product, so it is going to make it look much more subtle and it's not going to make it stand out as much. Yes. <laughs> So you see that looks so incredibly natural, looks so pretty and glow. I absolutely love it. So now I'm going to start powdering everything in place because for me, I'm very oily. Plus I live in Miami. So powdering everything in place is a must. So first I'm going to go in with the NARS pressed powder. This is the color crystal, one of my favorite pressed powders. And now to actually bake under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline loose finishing powder in the color 05 fair. And I'm just going to place this under my eyes and just simply leave it there. This is going to help me brighten up under my eyes and it's also going to help me catch any eyeshadow that might fall. All right, so to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Powder and I'm gonna be using a powder puff to just pretty much set everything in place. I press it down into my skin. I love this. I feel like this makes my skin look very porcelain. It closes up all the pores. I absolutely love this step. This is definitely a step I will never skip. <laughs> Once I'm done powdering pretty much everywhere I had foundation, I'm going to go in and put a little bit more concealer on my eyelids. This is going to help the eyeshadow pop a lot more. This is a bright pink eyeshadow that I'm going to be using. So I really want to make sure that my eyes are primed really bright because that's going to make the eyeshadow pop a lot more. If you compare this eye, the one that I'm working on with the other one, you can actually see a big difference with how much brighter my eye did looks. That means that once the eyeshadow goes on, it's just going to be really, really bright. And I'm not going to have to use as much product to make it look as bright because the primer is going to help me do that. So, of course, I always have to set my concealers because if not, it's just going to become a hot mess and it's just going to smear all over the place. Okay, so now it's time for the star of the show. <laughs> so I'm going to be using tape on the sides of my eyes. This is going to help the eyeshadow give it that really pretty winged out sort of V shape. And now I did dust off a little bit of the powder because if I put the tape on top of the powder, it just kept falling off. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. Absolutely love this thing. I actually had it for a while and I, this is the first time that I'm using it. I'm obsessed with this corally pink color that I'm going to be using today. With a flatter brush, I'm going to pick up some of that color. And first, I'm going to start on my eyelid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack on the color. So I'm going to be using two different motions. A packing motion and then a slight back and forth motion that's going to help me blend. Now, the trick for me when I use tape to do my makeup is I usually start applying the eyeshadow more in the center inner corner of the eye and then working my way out. If I start on the outer corner, I find that the V shape, the wing of the eyeshadow is a little bit too intense for me and I like it to look a little bit more natural. I don't like that line to be very, very sharp and very, very defined. Now the reason why I said that this look is actually a little bit more simple than what it looks is because we're actually only going to be using one eyeshadow for the crease as well as for the lid. Now what we're changing is just the brush. Just simply changing the brush completely changes how the eyeshadow goes on the eyes and how it's applied. Now I switched over to a more fluffy blending brush and as you can see the color immediately becomes much more sheer which makes it very easy to work with. So I'm just dipping back into the eyeshadow palette several times 
And the same thing, I start applying the eyeshadow more on the center inner corner and then working my way out. So that by the time I get to the tape, I don't have too much product. And so that when I take off the tape, it's not gonna look really, really intense and really sharp. At this point is simply going back into the eyeshadow palette to give myself the intensity and the brightness that I want. Sometimes in videos it's hard to tell but I actually did dip back into that eyeshadow several times to give myself this much pigment. So it's just little by little building up the intensity that I want. I probably went back into that eyeshadow at least like 10 times. But yes, now it's time to take off the tape. Yay! So you see we have like that really pretty V shape, but it's not too intense. The line is not too sharp. So now I switched over to a smaller, more pencil-like brush because I'm going to be working on my bottom lash line. Again, dipped into the same color, going back into it until I build the intensity that I want. And I'm sort of like connecting my bottom lash line to that wing that I already have. Now going in with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to soften up the edge. Like I said, I personally, I mean everyone's different, I personally like when this V-shape eyeshadow is more natural and blended out. So I do that using a clean blending brush. Now I'm going to go in with another clean pencil brush and I'm going to dip into this chocolate brown in the same palette. And this is going to help me darken up my bottom lash line so it makes my lashes look fuller but I'm not gonna go in with too, too much so that it takes away that pink. So I still want the pink in the under eyes to stand out. This is just simply gonna give me a more dramatic look. Okay, now one of my favorite parts is eyelashes. I'm gonna go in with the Demi Wispies using the clear dual glue. This is my favorite glue and one of my favorite lashes. I absolutely love it. Now the great thing about this look is that I honestly feel like it looks beautiful with or without eyelashes. I personally love lashes. I love the way they look. I love the drama that they give the eye. But if at this point you would rather just curl your lashes, add a little mascara, I feel like the makeup look would be just as beautiful. Yeah. All right, so now that the lashes are on, I'm ready to move on and work on the skin for a little bit. I already cream contoured, but I always like to go in with a little bit of powder to just sort of like set everything and make it pop a little bit more since I did set it with loose powder. Sometimes it loses a little bit of the intensity or a little bit of like that skin-like finish. So going over it with a little bit of powder helps me bring that back into the skin, makes the skin look much more radiant. My favorite parts, of course, blush. What is life without blush? I'm gonna go in with the MAC Mocha Blush, which is one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna add this to the apples of my cheek and sort of blend upward. Now it's time to make ourselves look like delicious glazed donuts. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I'm gonna be adding the highlighter on the sides of the face, sort of like where the blush and the contour meet, right where the ear starts on the top. That's the area where I love to put highlighter. And then I also take it in a little bit on top of the apples of my cheek, just to kind of make the blush look a little bit more glowy since the blush I did use was matte. Also adding a little bit of highlight to my nose and the top of my lip. Now I'm gonna add highlight to the inner corner of my eyes. Doing that, I'm using a smaller, more precise brush. And I also went ahead and I wet my brush using the Make a Last Milani setting spray. This helps the highlighter really, really pop. Of course, I can't forget to highlight my brow bone. This just makes the whole thing look so pretty and glowy. Now I'm gonna dust off all that loose powder under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the chapstick because my lips just feel really, really dry. Okay, so now it's time for mascara. I always go in with mascara when I wear fake lashes. I feel like it makes a huge difference. The mascara I'm using today is from Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational Fan Effect. I like it when I wear fake lashes, and now when I don't wear my fake lashes, it's not my favorite. So once I've applied mascara to the top and bottom lash, I'm ready to move on to lips. For lip liner, I'm using Spice from MAC. First, I'm wiping off the lip balm that I put on. The reason why I wipe that off is because if I don't, the lip liner tends to smear and the lipstick is not as long lasting. So I'm just gonna lip line my lips and go in with the lip liner a little bit on the center as well. This helps the lipstick last much, much longer. For lipstick, I'm going in with this beautiful liquid lipstick from e.l.f. This one is in Tea Rose. I absolutely love the tone of this liquid lipstick and it lasts a really, really, really long time. To top that off, I am gonna go in with a little bit of gloss just because I want this look to be a little bit more fresh. I want it to look very glowy. So I feel like the lipstick looks beautiful matte, 
but also beautiful with a gloss on top. The gloss I'm using is from the company Collab. I know you can't tell. <laughs> and it's because I use this thing so much. And it is in the color Yaz Queen. And I'm just going to use the tissue to blot off a little bit of the gloss so it doesn't get all messy. Now to completely finish off the look, I'm going to go in with a little bit of more bronzing powder. I just want to make myself look a little bit more sun-kissed, especially like on the bottom and top part of my face, still leaving the center of my face looking much more bright and glowy. Alrighty, this is the final look. Let's go ahead and do something about this hair. I'll be back. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is pretty much it for today's video. This is the makeup look. What do you guys think? I thought it was pretty easy. I mean, it's definitely one of those makeup looks that it looks a lot more complicated than what it actually is. So I'm absolutely obsessed. I love it. I think it's perfect for summer. It's girly. It's very pretty, bright, happy. I absolutely love it. Hope you guys do too. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Also, please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up to let me know that you like it. And yeah, this is pretty much it. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.